I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for the minute of silence. Good morning, Albemarle. I'm Jonathan. Today is Thursday, May 19th, and here are your morning announcements. Singer-type people, auditions for the acapella groups No Fella and Minuteman will begin on Monday in the chorus room. See Miss Morris for more info or go down to the chorus room to sign up for an audition spot. Do you like the musical Hamilton? If so, come to Mr. Giordano's room 150 this week during three chat periods, today and Friday, for a listening party. We'll listen to the musical and maybe even sing along and talk a little bit about the historical events of this amazing play. Now here's Brandon with part two of the report on the ESOL program here at AHS. Bueno, mi gente, mi nombre es Brandon Álvarez. Eh, estamos, vamos a hacer una pregunta, ¿cómo fue la clase de ESOL? Christian, what are, your, what are the parts most difficult in ESOL? Eh, creo que una de las partes más difíciles de ESOL sería cuando tú recién llegas a un país donde no hablas un inglés perfecto, tratar de comunicarte con tus amigos o algo así. The parts of more hard to this all class is when you have to speak other language with your friends or co coworkers who does who doesn't speak your language, so that's so hard. What are the parts for you the fun? and relaxing. Las partes más divertidas para mí de la clase de ISOL son disfrutar con tus compañeros el día de los días de, de pasar juntos como hacer nuestras obras de artes o algo como como relajarnos, hablar sobre dónde dónde de dónde somos o de dónde venimos. The more funny things in ISOL classes when you speak with your 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 friends about your culture or when you make some some things ha where represent your culture like do you thing or kind of like kind of like that Excuse, what, what was the the project that you did di this year this year we did a couple of different projects we started out the year by having the students introduce themselves through introduction videos to all of their teachers it was a really successful project then i noticed that a lot of kids in my class loved electronics and wanted to learn how to build things so we then did a robotics project with our mesa crew it was so much fun the last thing we did this year was we worked on this art installation project this was our final project for the year 
uh, the students were able to express themselves in their immigration journeys through the art that they did. And it turned out amazing. Mr. Manadier helped us um, with the engineering and the electronics, and the students learned so much. We had a great time. Uh, I see. What will the ESO class help you with in other classes? The ESO class helped me in the other classes because when I was trying to learn in the ESO class, and, and the does is kind of similar with the English classes. When I just go to the English classes, I can write the story if my teacher wants me to do it, and I can just write a similar like how I did in the ESO classes, and. That's helped me a lot with that because you know this kind of similar I can do it like what I did in the third class and then also I can do it in English class. All right. Well, my people, uh, this is the end. Thank, thanks for watching. I hope you learn more. That's all for now. Have a great day, Albemarle.